Welcome to the CMSC's virtual poster tour. This poster is titled Creating a Yoga Program as Part of a Comprehensive Multiple Sclerosis Care Model. I'd like to introduce the presenter. Uh, Sandy Chapman is coordinator of the Multiple Sclerosis Patient Services Program at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome, Sandy. Well, thank you for having me, Catherine. Yoga is often recommended for people with MS, but many programs don't actually teach people how to do it. Was that part of the goal for the program that you've created? Uh, Yes, it was. Um, Our MS specialists and team felt that it was essential to embrace health and wellness as part of treating multiple sclerosis. We felt that by offering in-person yoga classes, we could create a community of people who were experiencing similar problems and, more importantly, solutions. And we also felt that in-person instruction offered an opportunity for people to learn stretching techniques that were uniquely suited to them and to do it safely. Now, your program provides weekly yoga sessions for people with MS with three instructors. What benefits are there to having the group of three instructors? Well, uh, having three instructors allows us the opportunity to provide hands-on guidance to all participants. While one instructor is leading the practice, the other two instructors are quietly moving about the floor, assisting with finding appropriate positions, offering props that can provide individual adaptations, helping people move from position to position, or demonstrating variations. Our participants tell us that it helps them feel safe and confident. And one of the comments we often hear is, hey, I can get up and on, off and on the floor. And um, you also have a 60-minute sharing session. Uh, Tell me a little bit about that. So we decided to offer the sharing session prior to the yoga class. Uh, we have we left the parameters intentionally rather loose, um, and this I learned from my yogis. I did not want people to feel pressured to be on time when they were already struggling to move, so we told them to drop in whenever they got to class. Some would come for the entire hour, some came for 10 minutes, some just came to class. It's all okay. We found that participants would identify how they were feeling during the group session and report that a lot of these emotions were physically expressed during the yoga pra- practice itself. It wasn't unusual to have people crying or sleeping and snoring during yoga practice. The following week, they would say they felt so much better. And while the support group provides an opportunity for newly diagnosed people to see how well people are living with MS, we also had a class night dive. And we used that hour before class to process the loss. What accommodations do you make to yoga uh, to accommodate a seated position, such as in a wheelchair? Um, So we have a regular student that comes in a reclining wheelchair, and she is able to use bolsters and pillows to create poses, and she'll actually tip herself backwards. Um, Since we have gone virtual uh, with the um, onset of COVID, the entire session is done in a chair so that everyone can participate. Uh, You can adjust any of the poses to standing if you want. When we have class in person, we have different instructors demonstrate the sequence with the adaptation, and we incorporate, incorporate breath work and meditation. If someone who is in a chair wants to transition to standing, the instructor provides step-by-step instruction as to how to get up, and the pose uses the back of the chair as a balance point. We also use weighted bean bags if people want to provide an additional stretch. If anyone is uncomfortable at any time with the pose, they signal for an instructor to help. Instructors are also very observant and often proactively work with someone to adjust the pose. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about how you Um, modified the program uh, during the um, isolation for the pandemic? Well, all of our classes are now virtual, so we do them all in a chair pose as well. Um, We add in an additional yoga practice during the week because uh, a couple different reasons. People also had time and they were home and they didn't have to drive down to our yoga studio, which took them quite a bit of uh, time to get down there. Um, We also added a sharing time um, at the beginning and end of both of those sessions, and we added a virtual support group that was open to everyone who is dealing with MS. Um, The Cleveland Clinic offers free counseling as a service, and as you can imagine, our counselor is very, very busy, especially now. So the support group helped with waiting times and offered another alternative supportive place for people to engage in conversation. As life together becomes safer, we intend to offer both in-person and virtual options as well as the recorded version. 
Okay, so um, what would be the best tips that you would offer other comprehensive MS care programs about uh, the design of your program? Um, I, I think the concept of it, it being a mind-body experience uh, with a spiritual component is also helpful. You know, we're very quick to use medications, even though a lot of our medications are very helpful with MS, uh, but we don't hesitate to use it sometimes because it's quick and easy. Um, but finding a holistic alternative that you can use for a lifetime is priceless. We aren't going to solve your problem for you, and you, we can guarantee you will have another one. But if we can help you to try to find a way to deal with your problems on a regular basis uh, and give you the tools to help yourself, then I think we've done the best job we can possibly do. Okay, great. That was a very, very interesting interview. Thank you so much for um, providing that information. You are welcome, and thank you so much for having us, and we appreciate that you're going to uh, share our yoga practice with everyone.